This time the question is, what net force is needed to give a 1,194 kilogram vehicle an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared? Okay, so in other words, we have our vehicle. Okay, let's say it's a very ugly bucky. <laughs> okay, that wants to accelerate at 2 meters per second squared and it weighs 1,194 kilograms. And now the question is, what is the net force needed? So not the force that needs to be applied by the engine, okay? We also need to overcome friction, or maybe it's on an incline, it needs to overcome gravity somehow. The resultant force, the end force that is needed to go up this hill or uh, accelerate up this hill at two meters per second. It doesn't matter what the conditions are. S all we want is the resultant force. If all of the forces has been considered, what is the resultant force needed? And the formula that we've been looking at is that the net force is equal to the mass of the object times the acceleration that is desired. Okay, so the mass of the object being 1194, Okay. acceleration being 2 meters per second and that is a very simple uh, calculation and I'm even changing the color to do it so the net force is equal if I double that what do I get 2 3 8 8 newtons okay we're measuring force in newtons so that's the answer let's put it in we use this formula the net force we don't know the mass we had is 1194 okay the acceleration we desire is 2 meters per second squared and substituting was a simple f okay just read here they tell us to ignore deltas and subscripts so i'm not going to type in f net i'm simply going to type in f don't leave it out in your written work so look when i wrote it down i kept my net there it's, uh, but in this step, inputting it here, we'll leave out net as a subscript. So force is equal to 1194 times 2. Looks good. Let's solve it. F is equal to, when I double 1194, I get 2388. Let's get your units. Newtons. Okay. And actually what we should do is write the direction because remember force is a vector in the direction of acceleration.